Good day, everyone. Uh, today I present you a very weird circuit. Now, as you might notice, it has only one inductor, no secondary coil. It has three capacitor uh, in series, three resistor in parallel, all three of the same value, one transistor, one LED. Well, of course, you guessed it. Uh, this circuit should technically light an LED out of a uh, low power supply, 1.5 volt or lower. And at first, you, you would probably say, no, that's impossible. That can't really, uh, that can't really work. But if we actually simulate the uh, circuit here, you would see that on the simulation, it actually works. Now, of course, sometimes on the simulation, circuit works, and on uh, <clears throat> on real life, circuit doesn't work. At the same time, on the simulation, some circuit may not work, but in real life, it may work. Well, I exactly uh, produced this circuit, which uh, with I had three nanofarad uh, capacitor, but the resistor are mismatch, and uh, they're not equal. And just to prove it, well, I have it right here. I have my three capacitor, have a three resistor here. The uh, base one is uh, 18 kilo ohm. After that, these two have 33k and 22k. I have my one milliannery coil little diode here and here is the circuit working powering off my little trusty 1.5 volt battery and ignore the rest of the crap there's only this part of the circuit work that works and if I remove the inductor it stopped working if I put it back make sure that I put it actually on the right spot Here we go, and it's not full brightness for the LED, but it's actually quite nice. <clears throat> Amp draw, 20 milliamps, which is actually quite reasonable, and lovely scope shot, which is right here, uh, actually quite nice. You can see here, this is actually where the LED lights up, and we're at the circuit restart. And I'm taking my scope shot uh, right on the LED itself. <clears throat> and probably some people might wonder how come this circuit works. Well, it's simple. Capacitor has a tendency to uh, re delay uh, the, the voltage. So in this case, you we add three, which uh, if you... If you take all three and you add it up, it actually adds up to 180 degrees plus or minus, give or take. I uh, would have to have three different channels uh, on an oscilloscope to actually uh, see what's happening right here. And, well, this is why this circuit is actually oscillating. It's the input... Uh, Meaning, well, sorry, the, the input and the output are 100, 180 degrees out, out of phase, which means that when this is off, the base of the transistor is actually forcing the transistor to get back on, which just create the loop over and over. And I actually, I could show you, let me get my other scope probe here that into my second channel and oops, stuff is dropping over all over the place and let's see if I can get the base which is actually oh my god okay it should be this one all right so I've connect the uh, second channel on the base of the emitter uh, base of the transistor sorry about that so now let's see on the oscilloscope the two channel 
and well if we match them as you can see just a little peek here is actually the uh, probably what start the transistor here so these two are technically 180 degrees off phase it's not really good uh, demonstration because it's not really a sine wave it's actually more of a weird wave shape here and uh, I would say here is actually when the uh, transistor gets gets his other pulse after that well it doesn't show anything very uh, interesting you say that if I do this it's actually not too bad but uh, anyway, here is the uh, schematic again for those who oops for those who want it to see it, and of course the value are non-critical at all, as you can see uh, on my circuit it actually works very well with different value, and you may need to experiment with the coil and capacitor if you want to have lower coil here like for example 200 micro entry or something like that you may need to change your coil to actually make sure that the frequency do doesn't just get drop it actually goes along the way and gets feed through the transistor and hold on a second if you actually look right there that's actually the same waveform that we had on the scope we put those two together we actually see that we have exactly the same same uh, wave here so on here it's actually easier to see because it's actually slow down very uh, very very slow on the high peak and as you can see here the zero volt is the the, the lowest this is actually the part where the transistor get uh, activate that turns on so it 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 char charge the uh, the coil which uh, as you can see here the current flow in the transistor and on the little peak it simply gets uh, it to discharge all three capacitor and that's exactly when the LED turns on and it's just repeat the cycle over and over and over again and as you can see this one here actually uh, the, the polarity of the capacitor those two here change polarity so uh, I thought it might be interesting just to for those who uh, <coughs> love to experiment things and uh, it, it has been on my mind for uh, since I saw the uh, cool jewel circuit I thought it might be uh, possible to uh, make it single transistor, single coil, uh, kind of a dual T circuit. And well, here it is, it, where it actually works very well. So I'm quite, quite proud of that. So let me uh, let me know what you think about that, and uh, have a good day.